I think so. Wow. What's cooking? The salt. Mm. In the salt, it's corn based porridge. Do you guys um, do you like oatmeal at all? Yeah. It works the same way. Okay. Um, kind of like not, not instant oatmeal, but mm. the kind that we put over a stove top. Okay. Only well, we don't have oats, we have corn. Oh, okay. So, cornmeal, nut flour, dried berries, and you can do fresh. We have fresh strawberries in there today. Wow. Um, and a maple sugar. Nice. And you just let it thicken and stir it every once in a while. Yeah. Wow. Look at this. Can you? You guys use the shells to scrape? So right now we're just cleaning out the boat. Mm. But how we actually get the boat or be sure to buy it like this is we burn it out. Mm. And uh, pretty much how you know it's done is when you can feel touch the side of it. Okay. You can feel the fire through it. Mm. That's how you know when it's done and when that's finished. All we do is scrape all the charcoal out, clean it, mm. and that's what we do. Pretty tough, huh? Wow, it's pretty big. Hello. Good morning. Dutch pottery. Oh wow. They look really fancy. Some of them are. People yeah. 400 years ago had fancy things. Mm. At this point in time, Michelangelo was painted at Sistine That's Chapel. right, yeah. So we've got art and culture. Mm -hmm. Shakespeare has published his books on the printing press, and he's yeah. already died. Right. So this is not right. Mm. Because if you're making mud to put the door or the bus legs off to the door to the hell, you're not right. going to wear your fancy things. Right. But there is going to be a wedding in a couple of weeks. So when there's a wedding, that's when everyone gets out their finery and their mm. lace bows and ribbons and things. Right. But not for every day, sir. So. Right. Great. Thanks for the information. <laughs>
Brother. You're entering the town. Because you got salad and uh, bread here? Um, no, we're going to boil a hen as well for oh. dinner and I'll ask for the salad. Okay. Mm. Hen is in the pot. Hen's already in the pot, okay. Mm. Smelling good. What's a typical breakfast? I'm quick to make uh, eggs or bread. Hello. What do you have growing here? Oh, onions, some carrots. Oh, okay. Some turnips. Something else. That's none of those. And I'm just. But do we need to get? Oh, a little overabundant. Chopping wood here. That musket. Was it real? Is this like the barracks, or...? Oh, no. Nah, oh, no. no. Well, it, I, I can see why you think it, but it, it is a house. Oh, it's, it's just like a regular house. Yeah, okay. Well, I wouldn't say it's a regular house mm. for when we come here. Well, we understood that these houses, we don't, we don't own them, and that they'd only need to last for seven years. For we come here to work as a joint stock company, we're, we're together. Mm. So the house you built, it's not owned by you, it's owned as the asset of the company as a whole. Mm. So the houses we built here are quite simple, but they do, uh, they suit us well enough for the time that we have. Mm. Okay. But uh, John and I are each set to be landowners next year. We'll each uh, have 20 acres of land to ourselves. Yeah. So that way okay. we'll build a better house. Mm. Like this, there'll be more than one room, different right. quarters. Mm. Yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah, it's it's quite so it's wow. quite harsh that we could see uh but we could see poverty coming upon us, you understand. Mm. Uh poverty was coming upon us like an army band, which is why mm. um it, it is a sign of distrust that you start to see in these plantations. Mm. Yeah, men are fleeing the, the their hardships that they face, that they might improve their lives. Definitely. So this is why we have come mm. for land, mm. uh, ultimately. And uh, it seems we are uh, beginning to taste the sweetness of the land, and uh, we will uh, soon now obtain our own. Mm, great. Hello. How are you today? Good. How are yourself? Very well. Bugs don't though. That's oh, okay. Out of this. It tends to last a bit longer for the mm. in it. It's also for, it's a soft wood, so it's easy to cut into, mm. but it's gonna last a lot longer than something you make out of oak. Mm. Which, an oak being a hardwood, some white oak is as hard as stone. I would say there's dangers. Got it. Great. Thank you. Nice, Okay. Good in yourself. Well, you look okay. so pretty. Oh, that's very kind of you. Yeah. 
What's uh, cooking? That's the mussels. Oh wow. And that will be part of our dinner. In the winter. Well, you can salt your fish. It's more of um, the entire year you're preparing for winter. Mm -hmm. okay. But um, we hunt a lot more often in the winter mm. okay, for venison and hunt a lot more often. How many people would typically sleep on a bed of this size? Oh, really two. Just, Just two? two, okay. Uh, but that's the bedstead, you must understand. For the mm. bed itself is the mattress. Mm. So everyone else will take mattress. What was the name the of the house? Well, here we <laughs> yeah? Well, what, what did you go, go? So did you did actually go? What? Did you actually? Well, how else would I get here? <laughs> I've gone back to England you know and came I mean? back again. You know what I mean? Hello. Good day. Good day. Good day. Okay, we're starting preparations yes. for dinner. So we've mm. got some eggs boiling as well okay. as some uh, herbs from our garden. Oh, okay. Sounds delicious. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we're to boil the eggs and then we'll slice yes. them and uh, butter them. Wow. And they have we went, to keep we them about the end You want to put them back th down there in that. This is ours. This is ours now. Oh, back down here. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, we're the no, other side. Oh, there you go. Back corner <laughs> where the... Yeah, I've never forgotten that in the house. <laughs> and I cannot really. In truth, you'd be a bit young to be wearing this. Uh, it can be quite heavy. Yes. Fran said you are not wearing it all night, as uh, all the men must do. So I think you can last uh, a couple of minutes. Yeah? Yeah. You have to wait for another eight years to wear this, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Powerful there. There you are. The ship the year before, they said you do not complain about the food on the ship. <laughs> there are two men on the ship you do not want angry at you, and one of course is the captain. That's and right. Is the cook. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> good advice on shore as well as on sea. <laughs> Hi guys. I have hops growing on some poles from my fence for the brewing of beer at the end of the season, but they become overgrown for the poles. <laughs> 